And I know um, that was Jingle Bells, somewhat of a secular song. And this next song is somewhat of a secular song, but I just like to hear on Christmas time. I'll be home for Christmas. for you I've lived in Chicago 47 years if you ask me where home is I say Hannibal Missouri if you ask me to tell you about that home not much of a house I can remember where Dad, when Dad got the uh, the artificial brick. I think it was was it asbestos. I'm not for sure. Mom and Dad thought it made it look like a brick house. <laughs> well, I guess it was home to me. the Christmas programs we used to give. You know, my mama was a preacher's wife and and after school all the kids would come and we'd practice and recite our little song our little pieces and sing the songs that we sing on musical memories. The church was right next door to the house. It wasn't a parsonage I don't we called it a parsonage, but mom and dad had to buy it. There was no money for the church to provide. That was home to me. We only heated two rooms. You know what I mean, don't you? We heated the, I started to say living room. That's, it was living room because that was the room we lived in most of the time. And I can remember the kitchen was heated. And mom would cook. Had an old, is it a sideboard, a cabinet with a porcelain pullout that she'd roll the cinnamon rolls and, and the homemade noodles. Oh, yeah. Wintertime, mom would pull the Maytag into the kitchen and do the washing in the kitchen. I'd get home from school and uh, at lunch hour, I always came home for lunch hour, <laughs> and mom would have something ready for us to eat and the windows would be all fogged up. That was home. Home. was where in that living room or the middle room of the house or we called it a living room 
It's where every night we had family devotions. And we all had to pray. Yeah. Yeah, we all had to pray. Each one. No, when as soon as we were old enough to pray during family devotions, we would uh, each take our turn. In my mind today, I can see my daddy sitting with his Bible open in his hand. Sitting by the, by the radio that was this tall. <laughs> you know what I mean by that? Sure. Uh, I think dad had gotten it at an auction sale somewhere. I know we didn't get it new. I think it was a Grundig Majestic. In my mind, I see dad still with his hand reading the Bible. That's in my mind. So many now that was around that family altar are rejoicing in heaven. Yeah. Where's home for you? Hopefully there was a family altar included in your home as mine was. It's rather synonymous, isn't it, when you think of Christmas? I hope I didn't get too weepy there. It stirs my heart, brings wonderful memories to me.